Hey guys, this is Dominic from Diet. Today something catched my eye in the news and that was this guy, Ahmed. He was posting and it trended on Hacker News because his blog on uh, ghost.org was actually taken down by Ghost. And to understand that a little bit better, Ghost is actually like an open source blogging platform, but ghost.org, they offer hosting for that as well. So they are the producer and the maker of this open source product, but they're also allowing you to host it. And that's really convenient but it also means that eventually or effectively somebody else has control of your data, like in Ahmed's case. And so at some point when he uh, got his blog post taken down, he actually had to realize that he did not have any access anymore to any of his data or anything that he posted ever there. And we have seen something like that before from Google and we have seen that before from Facebook, but for like a private uh, blog like Ghost, um, we have we have not seen it before and so I, th I thought this is a good opportunity to uh, actually uh, talk about ghost a bit and show you how you can host ghost yourself with diet so that nobody on earth can take you down um, fully decentralized just one more note so this situation developed a bit and the CEO of ghost reacted and they had some private discussion helped him recover the data eventually because this got all the media attention and so now if you go to this website, you will say like everything has been resolved and it's, it's all good and you don't find this post anymore, but you should still find it on archive.org. And I'm gonna put this link down there in the description below the video if you wanna check it out and see more of the details of what happened. So with that, have fun with the screencast on how to host yourself. So if you have a spare machine um, that runs at your home or like a little NAS drive, for example, or a small old machine in your office, you can use that install diet there and then host ghost there and i want to walk you through this uh, the couple of steps that you need to do this so we can do this with ghost because ghost is actually open source and we can get the source code and uh, host it on any machine that we want to so this is a two-step process first we get ghost here started and then we're gonna get diet running on top of that so here's the installation instructions. We do an npm install on our terminal. Before I do that, I have a certain version of Node here. This is version 12. So ensure that you have a relatively recent version of Node. I tried an older version before and that didn't work. So you have to have like a more recent version. And let's go. Installing Ghost. This might take a couple of minutes. Now we're looking done that was really quick so ghost is installed we want to keep this on top and now i'm going to install the client locally a system error your current directory is not empty oh i need to so this is actually my website so i can't do this here uh, make your my block okay so we're going to create a new block if you already have a block and you already have ghost installed like you can skip this step and go to your I don't have one, so I'm going to create my block now, install ghost there, and then publish that to the web. So it's installing and downloading ghost. That looks good. Installing some dependencies. And he's starting up. Boom. Okay, let's try that. There's like a local host URL here. We want to copy that link and just have a look whether this works. I'm going to look here in my browser. Localhost ghost. Great. Okay. So what do I need to do? I create an account. Um, what's my block name? This is my diet block. My stomach. I got a new block. I've got a password, so this um, doesn't matter really. Invite, no, I don't need to save this. I don't need to invite anybody, no, I do this later. Cool, so this ghost website is running on my local machine. Now we want to publish this using Diet. So I'm assuming you have installed Diet already if you're watching this video. If you haven't, just uh, head over to our website. You can download it there. The quickest way is really um, go to diet.io.com slash download 
there's this instruction if you're running a Raspberry Pi, like if the Raspberry Pi is a device you want to host your website from, your ghost blog, then this is what you would do there. Or if you have like an old NAS box, usually they're also running Linux. Um, if you want to run this on your laptop or your macOS or your Windows machine, you can of course also do that. Uh, this is uh, macOS and Linux. You can do this call. On Windows, you need to download the zip file and uh, unzip it there, and then you can continue with the steps I'm doing here. So I'm gonna assume you have macOS or Linux. So I go over here, I actually just reinstall that real quick. I go into my terminal, just execute this installed the most recent version of diet on my machine and there we go i've actually everything ready already so there's nothing more to do me here and now i can go ahead and say diet publish and i want to publish this publicly and the port is this one two three six eight and i want to publish this to port 80 which is a traditionally the public http port on the internet and if I do this, then it, go, it goes ahead. It validates the block and turn this up a little bit bigger so we can get rid of the extra lines. And we're seeing we're actually ready. So the gateway is enabled and my block is now posted here. So I wanna open this link and see. So here's our website. This is our ghost website. Look at that, really, really nice. So one thing you will realize when you do that is that even though I've got this hosted up here now, if I hover this link, Alta, you will see in the top, bottom left, it still says localhost. And this is because Ghost doesn't know that I've published it with Diet to this domain. So I wanna, I wanna tell Ghost that it's this domain. And for this, I go back here. And uh, I'm gonna stop Diet for a moment and say Ghost, there's, uh, config set URL I did this before actually so remember you can set the config URL so if you're running this and you have your own BNS name or your own address ensure that you run this command in your block directory so I say ghost config URL and I set the URL to my URL here okay and now I need to restart ghost so my server is gonna restart using the new URL and also I want to run diet again. So this is up again. I should be able to just reload this. And go back here. And Oop, it has not reloaded. Why did it not reload? Let's check whether I did a, something wrong here. I probably probably need to do this with HTTP and not with HTTPS. So I have to tell them that this is the HTTP URL, it's the correct URL, even though we're gonna use HTTPS in fact. I'm not quite sure why this is happening, but if you provide goes with HTTPS URL, it's redirecting you endlessly, um, and then you get this kind of error message. So we're trying this again. And I need, really need to set my browser to English error messages here. And now we should be seeing our block. Yes, we don't. Did I restart? I did not restart. I did not restart. Ghost restart. And publish it. There we go. So every time you change the URL, you have to restart ghost. And I didn't do this. So I changed the URL to not have the S and then you see there was no, no restart in between. I just did the publish again. So that's the reason it didn't change anything. So here we go, try again. And here's our website. And this time if I hover these links here like home and tag and author and help, that will actually show the correct URL in the bottom left. So now I can go to the admin area, ghost. And first things first. Oh yeah, this is my, what, what is my password? What is my password? Is this my password? 
this is my password great so remember your password otherwise you can't log in I want to get so ghost by default has a couple of posts in here that are by the ghost user this is like a default user I'm not sure if I can just delete him ghost yeah can I delete him delete this user uh, yeah totally I don't need him any of these default posts anymore so I'm not gonna save this and if I do this like it just did then all these posts that were by default on this home page uh, should be gone so if I go back to my standard page just to compare here you should be able to see that no there's no blog post at all because I deleted the ghost user with the default stuff it's gone great go to posts here our site I can actually preview it here. See, I'm not a big ghost user. So I'm going to the, my site, to my posts. I am writing a new blog post. I call this um, "Hello World." Hi, this is my first blog post on myself on my web three ghost blog. Yeah, I, um, I want to publish this. So live now. Bam, and look at this nice thing here. Cool, so it's live. So we can still do everything. We can set up a Steam. One thing that I would definitely suggest you is to go ahead and register a nicer name than this, right? So you can pop up the Dyer shell and just register any name you would like to have that instead of the uh, the public key name. So for that, you just do um, Dyer VNS and then register. And then you uh, specify which name you want to register. So, for example, I have uh, test name effect already registered. So, if I say test name, should be um, my client address, so that, that I can replace this long string just with test name. Then it's going to do that, and now it actually tells me well that address is already registered on the blockchain on the very same uh, name. So I can show you that if I just enter test name here in my browser. This is actually the same already. And test name. It tells me that's wrong because I did stop the diet client. I need to publish this. There you go. This is my website. If, diet client, if the diet client is not running, the website will not be available. So keep it always running. Um, now, one thing that you have to realize, if you change the name, like I just did, you still have the same link problem. The bottom left, you see it says 0x55c8. And that's because we still use the, the, the old URL. So I want to change that. This time, I actually want to open like a new um, terminal just to keep diet running in the background. And I'm going to ensure that I'm still using the most recent note version 12. And I'm going to tell ghost um, config set, set URL, URL. Exactly when I set it to test name. And then I just need to restart it. There we go. Yeah. Got my ghost block running. And now all the links are updated to test name. Uh, I can start uh, blogging, I can start posting, and I'm totally decentralized. It's only running on my machine. Nobody else has access to my data. I can host it here, I can host it on any spare device. And important is if you do that, think about updates, uh, update you, your ghost directory regularly in, in some way or the other. And otherwise have fun with Web3 and uh, get decentralized. That's it, thanks guys.